Hey guys, I want to talk about squats in this video, primarily hand width. Um, when I came back to lifting in 2008 after a number of years off, I was about 274 pounds. I was a bigger guy, and I, uh, getting back at squats, I found that I was having a hard time getting under the bar. This was a combination of not only my weight, but also my muscle size. As I started lifting again and building that muscle back up, I, I had a harder time getting under the bar. Now, I, I work out at home. One of the issues I faced was that my squat rack was only so wide, and I couldn't put my hands outside of the rack and grab the bar, so I had to move them inside, keep them inside the rack. So even though I could go a little bit wider, I really couldn't go super wide with my hand width on squats. And the result was that I was picking up a lot of constant strains and pains in my shoulders, my brachialis. It was nonstop for a year I had constant pain. So I tried every possible solution to try to figure out how in the world to squat without pain. Now some of you guys are saying, ah, it's just a flexibility issue. And that is true for some people. But guys, for bigger squat squatters, there you can get to the point where you have so much muscle size that... You just can't physically get your hands back there, guys, to grab the bar without inducing some form of pain. So don't knee-jerk this off as a flexibility issue. Some of us guys are just so darn big, we can't get our hands back there without pain. So we need to go wide. Now I want to give you guys some solutions on how to deal with this, primarily for the home squatter. If you're, if you're working out at a gym, you're kind of handcuffed. But um, my number one solution for you gym guys would be Dave Draper's top squat. Now, this is a nice sturdy piece of equipment. You can see the groove in there. That's where the bar fits. This is a great choice if you're squatting, um, if you don't do a lot of reps above 315 pounds. Um, it, once you go above 315 pounds, <clears throat> you're going to feel some, some wobble. It, it really gets kind of tough to control this thing the handles, you get this wobbly sensation in the handles. So this is a great choice for those of you <clears throat> who uh, who don't really do a lot of rep work above 315 pounds. For those of you who, like me, who are squatting in 500 and 600 pounds, you know, raw, this can be a real challenge. And I don't think this is a great solution. But with that said, for you gym guys who need a solution, this isn't a large piece of equipment. It costs, what, 60, 70 bucks? You could take it to a commercial gym. They probably wouldn't give a darn. And I think it's probably the best solution for you gym guys, for you commercial gym guys going to Golds and Planet Fitness, wink, wink. I know what you're doing. So if you are not, you're working out at home and you got one of those squat racks that really isn't that wide and you can't get your hands on the outside, the best solution for you guys is to get a bow bar, which is linked below, from New York Barbell. I have one of these bad boys. Only cost me $219 plus $15 shipped. It is sturdy as heck. It's a thicker bar. It's a longer bar. It allows me... Because, um, to get my hands outside of the rack and on the bar because of its extra width and because of the bow, it relieves some of the pressure. I've been squatting using this bad boy for three years and it has really changed the game for me. It is probably the best bar investment I have ever made. Um, it, like I said, it's sturdy as heck. I go up over 600 pounds on it, and that thing doesn't have any bend at all. It is super sturdy, a great value, one of the best bars on the market. <clears throat> and uh, it uh, even after three years, it looks brand new. So that is my recommendation for you, including shipping. It's around $234, and it's the best investment I have made for my home gym. Now, if you can't do that, then I recommend getting two adjustable saw horses. You can get these at Menards or whatever. They're like 60, 70 bucks a pair. And getting out of the rack, going as wide as you can on your bar, and learning how to squat with saw horses as your catches, um, that's probably your next best, uh, best solution. So guys, I hope this video has helped some. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you have any video suggestions, guys, please leave them below, and I'd be glad to help as well. And guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.